What's up everybody, it's Nick from Mining Office. And if you saw my last video, you know that I showed you guys this card here, the Gigabyte 3070. And let me tell you something, this is a full hash rate card. Now the reason why there's no unboxing or anything like that is because I bought this used. I actually traded for it. Um, I got a 3080 LHR card, but as you guys probably already know, with these two computers and these two rigs, I'm like really tight on power, so I couldn't run a 3080. I mean, on Ravencoin, that 3080 there takes about 275 watts, and I really can't afford that on just the two circuits I'm running here in the office. So I traded the 3080 to a gamer who was very happy. I got a 3070 full hash rate, and obviously he gave me some cash on the side to compensate. Uh, yeah, I think it's fair for both of us, and I'm really happy to get this card. So. If you have not already noticed, this is the Gigabyte Gaming OC 3070. Uh, we'll go over a few of its features quickly. There's the RGB Fusion 2.0. Um, that just refers to this logo here, which is off right now, but that's the extent of the RGB on this card. So yeah, um, there's the wind force, which I believe is the fans that spin, where the middle fan spins in an opposite direction than the external fans, so um, or the outer fans, I should say. The OC edition, obviously, that's, uh, that's cool. Normally, I think the the uh, power limit is a bit higher on, on these cards, and a four-year warranty. The person hadn't registered the card with Gigabyte, so that's super good for me. I will register it, and uh, if ever there's anything, I can still RMA it. So that's really, really good. And something I would ask when I buy used cards, new 30 series. This is the first 30 series card I get used, but for sure, I would always ask to make sure if the person has not registered the card, that's a big plus when you're buying used. It also has a pretty neat cutout here in the back plate. So you have sort of a flow through design, sort of like the Founders Edition cards. So that's always a nice addition. And I think the back plate here is pretty good looking. I mean, overall, the card is quite thick. It's a big card, but the cooler seems really effective. And you guys will see that again when we, uh, when we look at the results over there. Uh, however, there's something I want to go over first. I was sent a package by Mining Cave. You guys probably already know these guys. Um, they sent Red Panda a few things too. And uh, they are a Canadian company. Uh, obviously, you guys know I'm Canadian. So I was really hyped. And uh, let's get this unboxed at least. So let's rip into this, guys. We're trying the one-handed move. The classic Red Panda. So what do we got in here? Oh, seems like it's a power supply. Pretending I don't know what's already in here. Uh, so we have a power cable for the power supply. Can I one hand this? Oh, brute force. Okay. Let me unwrap this. Here we have the mining expert. It's a six GPU, 1,600 watt power supply by Mining Cave. Uh, it seems to be 80 plus gold efficiency, which is good. Same thing as the RM850s. And uh, yeah, professional mining power supply. So uh, we're gonna get this unboxed. Like I said, they got the power cord included and also a PSU tester, I guess, in case you wanna use this as a uh, secondary power supply for your rig. Uh, yeah, cool that they include that. Let's tear into this. Let's pop this guy open. All right, so uh, the cool thing about this is that this power supply, guys, does not have SATA for the risers. So there is a Molex connector, there is a SATA connector, but um, for the six GPUs it's made to support, there are dedicated six pins to plug in the risers. So that's a classic like newbie mistake, you know, plugging in your risers with SATA and then you have a fire hazard. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be a problem, but it can be depending again on what you're what you're mining and what you're pulling through it. So this avoids that. It has, like I said, six dedicated six pin connectors to directly power the risers. And uh, yeah, you're going to have a 24 pin in here, a uh, four plus four pin for the CPU, uh, one Molex connector. Let's say if you have to power a Molex connector on the motherboard or a fan hub or something and a SATA, let's say if you have an SSD. So I forgot to mention, obviously there's also uh, eight pin connectors. They're not eight pin, they're six plus two. And there's six daisy chain ones, giving a total of 12 six plus two pin connectors. So let's just pull it out of the packaging to take a look. Unfortunately, right now, I don't really have room to use this. I wish I could build another rig using this, but with the 250 amp circuits I'm running on right now, 
that's a bit of a problem. So I'm pretty much already maxed out, but I really appreciate them sending me this. Uh, obviously it'll go to use eventually. I don't know when, but uh, here we go. Let's look at this mining cave, power supply, 1,600 watt, six GPU ATX, 80 plus gold. You can also run this on 240 volt, as you can see, so that's good. You'll just use a different cable, right? So that's why they sent me the cable for uh, 110 volt. If you go on their website, you can choose if you want the 110 volt cable or the 120 volt cable. So really cool, guys. Um, I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to this product and just their website in general. You can go check out the stuff they have. Uh, again, thank you Mining K for sending me this and uh, we'll be getting some other stuff from them that we'll be able to test out next time. So stay tuned for that. As promised, I'll show you guys the hash rates on this card. It's nothing really surprising. I mean, it's classic 3070 efficiency. You guys can see I'm getting over 62 mega hash pretty easily here. I have the fan set at 70% and uh, it's like super cool at 45 degrees even though it's, it's in this case. So that's cool. Um, it's pulling 120 watts, which is five watts more than my other Gigabyte uh, card, the Gigabyte Vision, which is also full hash rate. And you can see that epic efficiency at over 500, so about 525. That's absolutely, absolutely great. Uh, yeah, no rejected shares either, so can't complain. This, <laughs> I'm really happy I picked this up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, guys. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Take care.